Hi, I'm Phil Hall for BusinessSuperstar.com. I've got a story for you. I've been writing for a website for about 12 years, and recently there were some changes at the website that uh, confused me. I had sent uh, some emails to my editor there, and I had a bunch of questions, and I didn't think the questions were really being answered, so I sent a couple of follow-up questions. And the editor, for whatever reason, got irritated with me, and he sent me an email saying, if you want to contribute, fine. If don't, I don't care. Don't waste my time with this bullshit. It's not a very nice thing to say to somebody, especially if they've been writing for you for 12 years. But, uh, stop and thinking about it. You know, I don't think the problem was my problem. Maybe the editor was having a bad day or a bad week. Who knows what was going on? I mean, he was never this grumpy, foul mouth with me before. And... I started thinking, you know, if you're a business manager and you're in a bad mood, what happens if you take that bad mood to the office and unleash your wrath on those around you who are not responsible for your being in a bad mood? Needless to say, this exchange left me with a rather foul taste in my mouth, and I've been in situations in the workforce where managers come in and they're not in a happy mood, and I'm on the receiving end of it. My advice is very simple. If you're in a bad mood, leave the bad mood at home. Don't bring it to work with you, and don't take out your temper on people who are trying to help you, who are working for you, and didn't create your problems for you. I don't know what uh, is going to happen with that editor of mine, because right after he sent me that foul-mouthed email, I found out he unfriended me on Facebook. Oh, well, I guess we won't have to look at pictures of his cat anymore. <laughs> Something good may have come out of it. Peace out.